Welcome to our viewers. I'm Terrell Schwinn, and today I'm talking with Kathy Webb about the potential changes of being able to claim tax deductions for working from home. Up till now, this has typically been for commission earners and sole proprietors, people working, running their businesses from home. Has this changed, Kathy? Because when we discussed it last time, we didn't think much had changed. Well, the main thing that has changed is that so many of us are working from home now. Mm -hmm. So obviously this is a question that has arisen in many people's minds. Okay, so I've converted my spare bedroom and let me just clarify, we're not having guests at the moment. It is no longer a spare bedroom and probably won't be for the rest of this tax year. Does that mean that I, and I, and I would say it's probably about 10% of my home, does that mean I can claim 10% of my rates and taxes, my bond, whatever it might be that go towards running my home, as well as things like my data and so on, will I be able to claim that, to claim that back in terms of a tax deduction? A terrible yes, if you're going to give it a try, then those, you can claim 10% of those expenses of the interest on your bond, rates and taxes, telephone and so on. However, I'm not convinced that unless that makes up a big proportion of your um, taxable income, not convinced it's the best way to go. And perhaps what would be better is to start discussing with your employer whether they wouldn't reimburse you for costs. It's probably the same amount of paperwork at the end of the day, but with the reimbursement, there's no tax um, impact at all. Okay, I mean, I think that's very sensible advice, but not all companies are going to be able to do that, no. obviously, in such troubling times. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's also, from what I understand, depending on the value of your home, there is the CGT or capital gains tax in impact related to the percentage that you actually claim in terms of the two million. Is that correct? That's right. So basically any capital gains tax you might have to pay will be increased by the num or the value of the claims that you put through because you're working from home and because some of your home is now an office. And one but needs to remember that you need to be able to show SARS that it's an office in the event that they should come and check on you. So you cannot claim an office if you're working in your kitchen or dining room, for example. Kathy, thank you so much. I think that clarifies some of the questions we were asking ourselves after mm -hmm. our last presentation on this particular conversation. So thank you very much and thank you to everybody for watching.